Hello everyone, my name is Robert and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Wacom Intos pen tablet for you. This is how the box looks like and it's the black Bluetooth medium model that I'll be checking out and uh, let's give it a go. So let's see what's in the box. So this is the tablet, it's very thin and very lightweight. Let's see what else we have. So here we have the micro USB cable to connect the tablet. And we have the instructions and manual, as well as the brand new 4K pen that has more than 4,000 pressure sensitive levels that you can use. So this is the black Wacom Intuos in the medium size. Thank you. And apparently there's also a pistachio colored Wacom Intuos. It's great because pistachio is actually my favorite ice cream. So in case you're wondering where you can find the replacement nibs for your pen, it's actually a good idea to turn the pen around and unscrew the back cap to find out what is in there. So after unscrewing the end cap, you will see that you have three replacement nibs that you can use. So to get rid of the old nib is just simply put it into the end cap, pull, and then take out a new nib, and simply push it in and screw the end cap back in, and you're ready to go. So let's compare the Wacom Intuos Medium with a smaller brother, the Wacom Medium Small. So as you can see, the small version is substantially smaller in terms of active area as well as footprint, but this makes it also more portable. So which one should I get? You might be wondering. I always say the larger the screen, the larger the tablet has to be. Mostly when I'm in the, out in the field and working on my laptop, I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. I prefer having a larger tablet, which is the medium size. If you want to be super lightweight and portable, the small will also work just fine. And if you are having a smaller laptop that you can use, let's say a 13 inch screen, then probably the small will just be fine. So let's compare the Wacom Intuos Medium with its professional brother, the Wacom Intuos Pro, which is actually my go-to model. So in this case, I have the Wacom Intuos Pro medium size. You can see the active area is about the same as with the Wacom Intuos but there are a few substantial differences. So of course you have a total of eight programmable express keys. You have the touch ring that you can program to scroll and to navigate. But also the Pro Pen 2 is very different compared to the Wacom Intuos Pen. It has a, an eraser at the back. It has a, a rubbery grip, which has a very nice feel to it. So if you're working long hours, I would prefer this pen. And of course you can customize the nibs as well as the ring. This distinguishes it clearly to be a professional level tablet, which doesn't mean that you cannot use the Intuos with a professional environment as well. It's just difference of wanting to have more features or not. So let's pair the Wacom Intuos with my MacBook Pro via Bluetooth. So for this you push and hold the Bluetooth button for a couple of seconds until it starts blinking. Then you go to the system preferences and then you go to Bluetooth. And then you will see that the Wacom Intuos shows up and you click on connect. And then with a few seconds it is connected, it gives you the the Wacom into a setup wizard and you can just start using it. So let's see how the Wacom Intuos works with pressure sensitivity in Photoshop. I can apply very little or more pressure to give it a thinner or a thicker stroke and it works quite nice and I can also change the amount of pressure I want to use to uh, customize my stroke level so I can create the tip fill to be a bit more firm so I need more pressure to have a thicker line. It's actually very natural in terms of um, how it feels when you when you start to draw something. So it's a lot of fun. Um, you can create characters or anything. I'm not that good at drawing anymore, but 
Um, nevertheless, it feels like you're drawing on paper and it's a lot of fun to uh, just doodle around here. One feature that I really like is the new scrolling option that you have using the pen. So actually if you hold down the, the front button, you can just swipe across the tablet to scroll faster or slower. So it's actually very easy to navigate around. So I think that's a, that's a pretty nice feature to uh, quickly go through long websites, for example, like YouTube or Facebook or anything else. So uh, of course you can customize that as well in your settings. So you go to uh, Wacom, tablet, and then you go to pen. And here you can see that you can customize it with uh, the front button or the back button to be right click or scroll. What is great with Wacom Intuos is that you get the choice of three software packages. So for one, Corel Paint Essential 6, Clip Studio Paint Pro and Corel Aftershot 3. So how to get there is actually to register your, your Wacom Intuos and then you go to View Software Library. Then you need to choose the, the product and then you need to choose the operating system. So let's go with, with Mac in my case. And here you can just scroll down and you can choose whatever you want to use. So the new Wacom Intuos is really a great tablet. It's especially great if you're looking for an entry-level tablet and you're just starting out as a creative with illustration or photo editing, then this one is really a great start, especially given that you have a choice of three bundled software options uh, if you buy one. Um, in terms of the hardware, it's an excellent design. I really like the low profile. It's super lightweight. Um, it looks it looks very professional with the black edition, a little bit more stylish with the pistachio edition. Um, in terms of size, I really prefer the medium size because it corresponds more to the actual screen that, that I'll be using, especially when on the go, which is the, the 15, 15 inch um, MacBook Pro. Um, will I be switching over from my Intuos Pro? Probably not. I really prefer the, the feeling of the Pro Pen 2, um, also the eraser on the back, uh, different pens that you can use. Um, and also having more express keys and a little bit more pressure sensitive levels actually 8000 plus compared to 4000 plus but given that this is an entry level tablet doesn't mean that you cannot use it professionally with over 4000 pressure sensitive levels this is actually more levels than you've had with professional tablets for just a few years back so with 4000 pressure levels you can absolutely use it in a professional environment um, I might be carrying it around when I want to travel lightweight then I can just put this in a sleeve into my into my laptop bag um, and just carry it around and if I want to get some some work done in the field then this is more than perfect to do so so if you can if you can spare the the um, the, the actual pro pen as well as the rubberish feeling then this tablet is a very good choice to go with and um, I can absolutely recommend it so if you've liked this review, uh, make sure to subscribe and watch some other videos I'll be posting online. Um, drop me a comment if you have any questions and uh, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.